The Blantons have been to Children's Mercy before. Well, you're getting it a lot easier than what I had. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, that's <laughs> true, dude. Brothers Jacob and Sam both have pectus excavatum, a sunken chest. Sam had surgery a year ago. Jacob is coming in for surgery today. When we brought Sam back from the hospital itself, Sam was in a lot of pain. And it wasn't for a day or two. This went on for a long time. Since Sam's surgery, Dr. Sean St. Peter pioneered the use of cryoablation for this procedure to significantly reduce pain and shorten recovery time. This operation is the single most painful operation that we do for children. Cryoablation decreases the electrical conduction through those nerves. And what that does is it creates a type of degeneration within the nerve where the nerve still is alive, so it will come back to function, but it takes up to three months for that to happen. That's plenty of time to get over the pain that's associated with the bar placement. Knowing that Sam got it before and like, uh, knowing that I'll recover like way faster is a huge relief. Jacob's brother was in the hospital for five days after his surgery with a lot of pain. With cryoablation, Jacob could go home pain-free tomorrow. Today's surgery will reduce pressure on Jacob's heart and lungs and restore his proper posture. And then we're gonna make two incisions on the side. And we're gonna use that cryo probe to freeze the nerves, four levels. And we're gonna pass the bar through. The bar's gonna sit underneath the sternum, but outside the rib cage. So your sternum's gonna sit on top of it just like that. And that's what's gonna fix the defect. Okay, let's have you just put your head back. So we're looking at the symmetry here. The bowl in Jacob's chest will be gone after his procedure. He can't resist showing it off one last time. Those are uh, sugar pops, Doc. <laughs> well done, Jacob. That's impressive. I frequently say that pectus excavatum is something you can eat a bowl of cereal out of. Well, he quite literally <laughs> took your, at your word. Quite literally. Built-in bowl. Why not try it out? It's pretty cool, in my opinion. You'll be fine. Dr. St. Peter's use of cryoablation and pectus excavatum surgery is so revolutionary other pediatric surgeons have flown in to observe how their patients could benefit from this new technique pioneered at Children's Mercy. Cryoablation is where we put a probe directly on the nerve that runs underneath the rib. So we put the probe on the nerve, it goes to minus 60 degrees Celsius in a couple of seconds, we hold it there for two minutes, and then it immediately thaws out and we go to the next nerve. And what that does is it creates a type of degeneration within the nerve where the nerve still is alive, so it will come back to function, but it takes up to three months for that to happen. That's plenty of time to get over the pain that's associated with the bar placement. The outcomes are so dramatically different, it's gonna be difficult to justify ever doing the operation without the cryoablation. This is one of those operations that's really gratifying for both us and the patient, because it's an immediate repair for something that's bothered him for many years. Now he's going to have to eat cereal out of a bowl because uh, chest won't do the job anymore. It's the morning after the surgery. I'm up, took a shower. For a long time, my pain was at like a zero. And, you know, then I'd get up and move around and be like one. Definitely not as stiff as Sam was. Sam couldn't even move the first day after surgery. Jacob is able to shower and dress himself with very little pain. His recovery is a lot faster than mine was. I'm absolutely amazed. Dr. St. Peter has done a tremendous job. We got here this morning about 8 o'clock, 8.30, and he was sitting up in a chair, sitting there talking to his brother. First thing Jacob said after he came out of surgery was, I'm going to go climb a tree. So that's a little bit worrisome. <laughs> he was in a better position than I kind of anticipated. Normally, you have a pain score of three to four, even with the cryoablation. And to be able to put on his own shirt and to get up and, and bathe himself uh, the first day, he's in a really good position. Less than 24 hours after surgery, Jacob heads home with a striking new posture and almost no pain. Can't see the future. But if I did, I would say I'd be fine. I'm coming.